Hello, my beautiful friends. I hope you're doing amazing. Today, we're going to be comparing the Urban Decay Moon Dust Shadows with the Glaminatrix Fairy Lights Palette, if that's something you'd be interested in. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Audrey. Thank you so much for being here. Please consider subscribing down below before you leave. We talk about makeup over here. I'm just a mom who loves makeup, and that's what we do. And if you're returning, hi, hello, welcome. I love and appreciate you, and let's get started. I just realized I filmed my whole intro without mascara on, but I'm going to leave it like that because that's just who I am. <laughs> so real quick, hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload videos. I have a pretty crazy schedule, but I upload a YouTube short every single day. So you should check those out if you haven't yet. And if you're interested in anything that's on my face today, everything is always linked down in the description box. Some of those links are affiliated links. I, that just means I receive a small commission if you decide to shop through those links. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for shopping through my links. I appreciate it. Okay, so we are going to compare and contrast the Laminatrix Cosmetics Fairy Lights Palette. This is the six shadows with the mirror on it compare and contrast it with the urban decay moon dust palettes i picked up both this is the only one that's available at sephora this is the moon dust space rider palette and then this one and this one they're both available at ulta but this one isn't available at sephora this is the moon dust galactic cowgirl palette this is the one that has the more colorful colorful shadows inside um so i picked them both up at ulta and as far as i know these are still available, but the Glaminatrix has sold out and I reached out to them and they did say they're going to try to restock it. And I think I saw it might be available at the beginning of January. So we're going to compare them. And yeah, this one will be restocked. So I swatched them all for you on my arm um, and I took photos. So I'll insert those now. And I did so... First, I swatched the Moon Dust Space Rider palette, the more neutral of the two. Then I did the Moon Dust Galactic Cowgirl palette, which is the more colorful. And then underneath those, I swatched the Glaminatrix Cosmetics Fairy Lights palette. So, so you could see all the colors and all that. The Glaminatrix Cosmetics, and I also um, put them both on my eyeballs. This eye has the Glaminatrix Cosmetics and this eye has the Moon Dust Space Rider. So I did two shadows in them that looked pretty similar. And then I ended up building up the Moon Dust eye and then adding a little bit of another shadow so it would match just a little bit better. So this is what we're working with. <laughs> they still are pretty different um, upon first glance, if you ask me. Um, the formulas are very, very different. I, I just saw a lot of people wondering how these two compared to each other. I mean, which makes, ooh, which makes sense because they're both holiday releases that have sparkly shadows, you know, and you need to know what is a little bit more worth the money and based on your preference and stuff. So this is just to help you make better purchasing decisions. So the Glaminatrix Cosmetics palette is more of to the touch, like a liquid metal. They remind me of liquid metal. They are absolutely gorgeous, very glittery, very shimmery, beautiful. Neither one of the formulas has any fallout on my face. Like, um, yeah, no. So they're very, very glittery and shiny, but they're not um, like loose glitter, falling out, fall down on your face situation. Um, the Glaminatrix, the packaging feels a little bit more luxe than these plastic packagings um, from Urban Decay. And the Glaminatrix has this shadow right here, which is um, multidimensional. I don't remember the word that they used. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, swatched, holy cow. Like, it looks amazing. It is, it's really, really beautiful. Very holographic. Maybe that's what it was. <laughs> holographic. It's very holographic. When you look at it, it's very shifty. It's like a little bit more chunky than the other ones. This one may have some fallout on your eye because the formula just looks and feels a little bit different in the pan compared to 
the others. So yeah, I'd say these feel like liquid metal and they're very pigmented. The moon dust eyeshadows, they are toppers. I would say they're not super, they don't have a lot of base pigment. So they're really good for if you've completed an eye look and you just want a little kiss of like a fairy dust situation on top. That's what these are for. I think that the formulas are very different, but I could see why you wouldn't want to own both. You know, you probably prefer one or the other. Do you prefer a more pigmented, intense, um, shimmery situation? Or do you want more of a topper that's going to just add a little bit of pizzazz to your look? So, yeah, I absolutely love these. If I had to pick one of the moon dust, I would pick this one because I mean, these are just, uh, I, I can see why more people pick this one. This is a neutral color story, but I really love, um, in this one, like this color right here. This is why I would pick the, this palette over the more neutral because, um, and I know this one has space cowboy and everybody loves space cowboy, but this one. This is that icy white shimmer. And I mean, it has like no base, but it's going to, wow, way to go, get in the frame. <laughs> it's gonna add so much sparkle to any look, whether you did green or blue or colors, neutrals, you know? So I really, really, I love that color right there. That is my favorite out of the eight shadows from both palettes. But I can see, I mean, Space Cowboy is very beautiful. I can see why you would pick this neutral color story. If you're more of a neutral wearer and you don't go into much color, maybe this one's better for you. So, one, two, three. I, I had to rank them from um, least favorite to most favorite. I would say three two, one. I forgot to mention this retails for $41, the Glaminatrix Fairy Lights palette and um, $41, but it's made in Australia. And I don't remember how much the shipping costs, but I think the shipping was a little bit because it, I mean, it came from Australia <laughs> and I live in Southern Idaho. So um, yeah, $41 for this guy. And then the moon dust shadows are only $39. So really, like if you're just going to buy one of these with the four shadows, $41, a little bit of a better deal, like um, eyeshadow versus dollar wise with the uh, six versus the four. But these are available. This one's available at Sephora. And then this one's only available at Ulta. So depends on where you like to shop and the convenience of it. You know, if you have an Ulta uh, or a Sephora near you, I don't know if they're in store or only online, but $39. So yeah, yep, these are the palettes. I hope that the eye swatches are helpful for you. I hope the swatches are help helpful for you. I absolutely love them and I think that they are different enough to where I could have them both in my collection and get a lot of use out of both. I, I mean, this is the perfect, the holiday season, perfect time for these shimmery glitters. I'm just, I'm so into it. I'm, yes, that is, yes, <laughs> I'm here for it. So yeah, I hope that this was helpful for you. I really hope that this, you know, comparison, contrasting situation helped you make a better decision purchasing wise if you were thinking about it you know these are limited edition um i think that you know glaminatrix is going to bring this back one more time but um they're both a limited edition situation so if you were thinking about it i would go ahead and pick it up because yeah limited edition <laughs> but super duper worth it and able to use with like any look and spice up any situation so very wearable if you have um i just think i keep thinking of the patrick ta the uh major dimension three palette he just came out with that full matte palette if you have a full matte neutral palette these any of these is going to just 
add to that, especially for the holiday season. So that with like a red lip. Yes. Christmas, New Year's. So I think that's everything. <laughs> if you made it to the end of the video, thank you so much. I love and appreciate you. Give this video a thumbs up if you love videos like this. And I will see you in my next one. Bye. Now, I wasn't initially going to pick these up. I went back and forth on whether I should or not. And I had somebody comment on my Surratt. Um... Okay. <sighs> okay. Redo. This is... Um... So this is the conclusion Happened faster than I thought Or a lifetime with perspective